Mudaf Mudaf Lehi, brothers and sisters, uh, can come as a in the front or come a, in the back. Uh, but we are only interested if if we are going to find out about the khabar, then we are only interested in mudaf. And it is mudaf mudaf lehi comes as a in the front, then muktada is only mudaf. We are going to do all these things. Number seven is like that. Let us have a break, have a little tea and some snacks, and recharge our batteries, and then inshallah we will. Uh. Now we uh, back. Our batteries are recharged. We had a nice baklava and some hot tea. Okay. Sister Salma asked me, so far what we have learned, how many kinds of khabar are there? The khabar can be one word. What did I say? One word. And if the khabar is one word, it is always marfu. Muftada hmm? is always marfu. Khabar, if it is one word, is always marfu. And fa'il is always marfu. Fa'il is always marfu. Now, the second type of khabar is that it can be jar majroor. There is a harf jar followed by ism which is majroor because of harf jar. So in short we call it jarun wa majroorun. Further short, jar majroor. Huh? If I say jar majroor, it means jarun wa majroorun. It means there is a harf jar. And there is a noun after it, which is majroor. Fine, brother. The third khabar is that there is a zarf. What is it? Zarf. Followed by mudafilehi. Okay? So if I say jar majroor khabar, then I have to say jar majroor shibbu jumla khabar. What is shibbu jumla? Remember I wrote it down last time? Shibhu jumla ti. Okay? Good. We will again write down. Brother, what kind of a compound is this? Shibu mudaf mudaf ilayhi. See, mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Shibu jumlati. Mudaf mudaf Okay. So, then we will say shibu jumlati. Now, if it is a zarf coming as a, you know, in place of a khabar, then we say zarf, shibu jumla, khabar, and then mudaf ilayhi. Are you with me? Muhammadun. Huh? Okay, al usfuru. What is al usfuru? Chidiya, a bird. Fauka shajarati. What did I say? Al usfuru, fauka shajarati. Where is muftada? Al usfuru, because it is definite. It is in the beginning. Okay, and it is marfu. What is fauka? Zarf, zarf. Shibu jumla khabar. And there is what is shajarati? Mudafilehi. Khalas. Uh, inshallah. And we will be repeating it every single day. And within few days, you will all be saying it correctly. And inshallah, thinking fast. Okay. Arabic alphabet has got 29 letters. Out of that, 28 are consonants. They have a speech sound. One, uh, one has no speech sound. One letter. And what is the first letter? Alif. It has no speech sound. If you say this is a, then it means there is a hamza on it. Okay? Now there are two kinds of hamza. Huh? How many kinds of hamza? Two, two kinds of hamza. Okay? Hamza tul, hamza tul vasli. Again, same thing, brother. Muda, muda huh? Hamza tul vasli. Hamza tul, hamza. Hamza, Hamza, Tul, Vasli. Huh? Hamza of assimilation. And then what is the next one, brother? Hamza, Hamza, Tul, Qatwa. 
Qatni. Now, when you have Hamzatul Qata, brother, you will always have a sign of Hamza somewhere. Huh? Either it will be Aleph, or it will be Waw, or it will be Ya. Because Aleph, Waw, and Ya are the chairs for Hamza. What are they? Chairs for Hamza. Okay? Now, when you have Hamzatul Qata, it will be written with a Ain. Huh? Okay? On something. Sometimes Hamza can come on its own. Huh? Okay. But if it is Hamzatul Wasal, we do not put sign. We just leave it like that. Are you with me? We don't put sign. We leave it like that. Okay. This is the difference between the the Mushaf Quran, which are printed in India, and which are printed in Middle East. But the, the Quran from we have Quran from Syria in our store. They are most accurate because they differentiate between Hamzatul Qata and Hamzatul Wasat. But Quran from India, they don't differentiate this. Sometimes you can make a mistake. Sometimes it can be confusing. Okay? Now, coming back to... What is this, brother? What is this? Al. I will, we will never write Al like this. Why? Because this is Hamzatul Vasal. Why? Because it is Hamzatul Wasal. So whenever there is a Hamzatul Wasal, we just leave it alone. Okay, brother? What is Hamzatul Wasal? If it comes in the beginning of a sentence, you pronounce it. If it is somewhere else in the sentence or anything comes in the front of it, you will not pronounce it. For example, brother, if I write down, Al Kitabu Jadidun. What is it? Al Kitabu Jadidun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al Kitabu Jadidun. Did I put anything on Hamza? No. Why? Because it is Hamzatul Wasal. Now I put. How will you pronounce now? Well, what happened? You, why did you not pronounce Hamza? Because it is Hamza to Wasal, and something came in the front. We did not. Now, in order, in, in the Quran that are coming from uh, Middle East, in order to make it 100% clear that this is Hamza to Wasal, they put a little swad on it. That is the sign of it, that it is Hamza to Wasal. Are you with me? So there are about uh, there are about nine or so w- words, uh, maybe more, maybe less, brothers and sisters, in which there is a hamzatul wasal. The first noun is this. What is it, brother? Ismun. What is it? Ismun. See nothing on hamza. Why? Is it Hamzatul Wasal? Are you with me? It's Hamzatul Wasal. Are you with me? Now, sometimes if you want that somebody should not make a mistake and she, that person should read Ism, then we just put a Kasra. Because it is Hamzatul Wasal, only Kasra. But we know that if you see this, it is Ism. Now what is this brother? We know that word properly with proper vowel sign. I do not have to put anything on Hamza. Uh, it is Ibnu. I will never say Abnu, Ubnu. It is always Ibnu. Ibn. Always Ism. Uh, but suppose if I put here, here Wow, what will it become? Wabnu. It will become Wabnu. Uh, okay, and then I can put here that sign to say that it's, it's to be assimilated. Ana uh, 
What did I write, brother? Ana, Ana ibnu Muhammadin. Ana Muftida. Where is Khabar? Ibnu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilahi. Sahi. But how will I pronounce? Anabnu. How will you say? Anabnu. Anabnu I'll pronounce. Okay. Why? Why? Because you are all very smart. Very strong and mashallah, uh, you know, have some background. Brother, Ana, look at Ana. Huh? You have noon with Fatah. And what is after noon? Alif. Alif. What is on Alif? Sukun. Huh? Remember, Sister Manas, we learned that there are three vowel signs in Arabic language. Dhamma. Fatha and Kasra. If there is no vowel sign on the letter of Arabic alphabet, then automatically there is a sukun on it. So, where is the Fatha here? Uh, do you see, did you see how I write Ana? I put a proper Hamza there. Why? It's Hamzatul Kata. I have to pronounce it. No matter where it comes. Even if there is a vowel here, I will say wa'ana. Why? It is Amdudul Kata. Okay? So wa, then Hamza with Fata, and then Noon with Fata, and then Alif. There is nothing on Alif. So what is on Alif then? Sukun. So brother, Sukun here. Huh? Okay? And then Sukun here. Remember? And this is Amdudul Wasal. Uh, so I cannot pronounce two sukuns. Then I have to skip this in my pronunciation. Only in my pronunciation. So what did I say? A nabnu. A nabnu. The reason that I did not pronounce alif. See, Arabic is so logical, brother. Scientific. Uh, brother Hassan, it was just a fleeting thought. It came in my mind to explain this. But don't worry. It is... And I'm Uptada Ibnu Khabar Wahua Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. Got the idea, brother? So, whenever you will see Hamzatul Wasal coming in the beginning, even if there is a no vowel sign, but we know it is Ibnu or Ism. Huh? Ibnu or Ism. Okay? So, look at it, number seven, brother. Look at it. At number seven. What is number seven? How will you pronounce? Ibnu Ammarin Talibun. Oh, very good. Is it Jumla Ismi or Jumla Failia? Jumla Ismi, there is no fail there. Huh? Okay, fine. Huh? Where is Mubtada? Only Ibnu, brother. Wahua huh? Muda. And what is Ammarin? Mudafilahi. Where is the khabar? Talibun. And then waw is a ataf. And how will you pronounce? Wabnu. So what is the next ibnu? Muftada. Wahua mudaf. And then yasi rin. Wabnu yasi rin. Mudafilahi. What is next one? Tajirun. Khabar. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. You got the idea? This is what is Hamzatul Wasal is. Huh? When to pronounce and when not to pronounce. If it is in the beginning of the sentence, we pronounce. It comes in the middle, we don't pronounce. Next, next uh, line, brother. How will you pronounce? You, there are no vowel signs. Baitul Mudar Rishi. So now you see, your mind says that this compound is Mudar Mudafilehi. Baitul Mudarrisi. Where is Muftada? Baitu. Wahua Mudaf. And Mudarrisi? Mudaf ilahi. What is the khabar? Baidun. One word. Are you with me? One word. It is marfu. If it is one word, it will be marfu. Okay? Fine. Then waw is ataf. What is the next word? Baitu tajari. What is, where is Muftada? Baitu. Wahua Mudaf. A tajari. Mudaf ilahi. Huh? And, and what is, where is the khabar? Karibun. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. 
Hada. Put a line there. Huh? And sister Salma, you could put even a line, Ibn Ammarin line, you know, just a thin line, huh? and Wabnu Yashirin line. Huh? So Tajirun is your khabar. Baitul Mudarrisi line on after Mudarrisi. Huh? And then Baitul Tajiri line after Tajiri. So you separated Mubtada khabar. Just for the sake of ease, you know. Okay. Haza, put a line. Haza, Mubtada. Where is the khabar? Miftahu. Huwa huwa mudaf. And sayarati mudaf ilahi. This is key of car. Very good. Aina. No, we do not analyze question mark. Till we are in book, middle of book three. Huh? Because otherwise it will become extremely confusing and difficult. As it is, brothers and sisters, I am taking this bold step of showing you all these things, which sometimes the teachers doesn't show. But I felt in my heart, and I always felt, that if we can slowly, slowly understand the analysis in a simple way, Huh? simple way you will become so strong later on brother that you will be laughing huh? you will be laughing that you have this understanding